Hi there folks, Cork here, and today we're going to talk about the different mirrors in Hypixel Skyblock. When a mayor is elected, they stay mayor for one skyblock year, or five days, four hours real time. Elections start on the 27th of summer and close on the following year's late spring the 27th. Because one second in real time is 72 seconds in skyblock, the mayoral elections should last about 31 hours. When the election begins, five candidates will step forward out of the total 11. While the voting booth is open, you may change your vote. You may only cast one vote, but a higher fame level will increase its weight up to a maximum of 100. When the election ends, the candidate who wins becomes the mayor of Skyblock for one in-game year, granting their perks to all players. When one of the eight regular mayors comes up for election, they will start with one perk unlocked. If they are not elected, the next time they become a candidate they have a chance of having a second perk unlocked. If they have two perks unlocked and are not elected, the next time they become a candidate there is a chance of them having three perks unlocked. Special mares will always have all of their perks unlocked. There are eight regular and three special mares that can be elected. Every eighth election a special candidate will be available. Their perks are as follows. Mayor Aatrox. Perk 1. Slayer XP buff. Gains 25% more Slayer XP. Perk 2. Pathfinder. Gains rare drops 20% more often. Perk 3. Slashed pricing. Starting Slayer quests is half the price. Aatrox is a great mare if you're trying to grind out Slayer. All three of his perks are useful, giving bonus XP, better drops, and cheaper Slayer tasks. I'd give him a solid 7 out of 10. Mare Berry. Perk 1, Magic XP Boost. Gain 15% more enchanting and alchemy XP. Perk 2, Arcane Catalyst. Spells deal 15% increased damage. Perk 3, Astral Negotiation. Enchanting and anvils cost 15% less experience. Barry is one of the only two mares that have never been elected in Skyblock, and I think you can figure out why. His magic XP boost was completely useless until very recently, when Skyblock updated enchants and god potions. You now need to have a high enough enchanting level to apply an enchant before you're able to benefit from it, and god potions were changed to a 12 hour base time with up to 12 hours extra based on your alchemy level. Arcane Catalyst may be good for dungeons as a lot of people play mage, and Astral Negotiation is just hot garbage. I think we'll see Barry get elected in the future by people who want to level up alchemy and enchanting faster, but I'd still give him a 3 out of 10 at best. Mare Coal. Perk 1, Mining XP Buff, earn 1.5 times Mining XP on public islands. Perk 2, Prospection, Mining Minions work 25% faster. Perk 3, Mining Fiesta, starts a special event in early autumn, earn 1.5 times Mining XP, 2 times Drops, and Unique Loot active only on public islands. Cole is a fantastic mare if you, like me, enjoy mining. All three of his perks are useful. More mining XP kind of speaks for itself. Prospection makes mining minions work faster, which is really helpful for things like redstone minions. And the mining fiesta makes the dwarven mines even more profitable. If you're a newer player, the refined minerals that you get from mining fiesta can be a great early moneymaker. I'd give Cole a 9 out of 10. Mare Diana. Perk 1, Pet XP Buff. Gain 35% more Pet XP. Perk 2, Lucky. Gain 25 extra Pet Luck. Perk 3, Mythological Ritual. Mare Diana will sell the Griffin Pet, which lets you find mythological creatures and unique items. Diana is mostly known for her Mythological Ritual perk. Using the Griffin, players can hunt down Griffin burrows in order to fight monsters and get items to upgrade their Griffin Pet's rarity. There are also some unique drops depending on the rarity of griffin you use to hunt for burrows. Her pet XP buff is great for leveling your pets and taming level, but I think her best perk is Lucky. An additional 25 pet luck while yeti fishing or doing any kind of pet grind is absolutely massive. It may also work for crafting pets, giving you a higher chance at higher rarities. I'd give her a 9 out of 10. Mare Diaz. Perk 1. Barrier Street. Gain 25% more bank interest. Perk 2, Shopping Spree. Increase daily NPC buy limits by 10 times. Diaz is the only non-special mare with two perks. They, along with Barry, have never been elected. Both of her perks are practically useless. 25% bank interest means that without bank upgrades, 
you would see a maximum of 312,500 coins instead of 250,000 every 31 hours. Or to put it another way, an additional 250,000 coins over 5 days that she would be mayor. Her shopping spree perk might be useful in a few niche cases, but I don't expect her to get elected anytime soon. 1 out of 10. Mare Foxy. Perk 1, Sweet Tooth. Grant 20% chance to get candy from mobs during spooky festivals. Perk 2, Benevolence. Grant 2.5 times gifts from the attack on Jerry's workshop. Perk 3, Extra Event. Schedules an extra event during the year. Foxy is an interesting mare. All three of her perks are useful, albeit a little bit underwhelming. I like that the extra event perk adds a little bit of RNG to her. I'd give Foxy a 6 out of 10. Mare Marina. Perk 1, Fishing XP Buff. Grants 50% more fishing XP on public islands. Perk 2, Luck of the Sea 2.0. Gains 15% extra sea creature chance. Perk 3, Fishing Festival. Start a special fishing event during the first three days of each month. Fish and fight dangerous sharks and earn unique shark loot. Marina is one of my favorite mares. All of her perks are useful and have good synergy with each other. 50% more fishing XP is huge, and combined with her shark fishing event can net you a lot of fishing XP. The additional 15% sea creature chance helps even more, as fishing up sea creatures is how you'll get most of your fishing XP, unless you're using minions. 10 out of 10 mare. Mare Paul. Perk 1, Easy Peasy. Grant 10 extra bonus score in dungeons. Perk 2, Marauder. Dungeon reward chests are 20% cheaper. Perk 3, Benediction. Blessings are 25% stronger. Paul has one amazing perk, one good perk, and one mediocre perk. 10 extra bonus score in dungeon makes S plus runs much easier, and it's by far Paul's best perk. Dungeon chests being 20% cheaper is good, nothing really to say there. I almost never see people using blessings in my dungeon parties, so if you do use them, then benediction is great for you. I'd give Paul 6 out of 10. On to the special mares. Mare Derpy. Perk 1, Turbo Minions. Minions have double the output. Perk 2, Auction House Closed. The auction house will be closed while Derpy is elected. Perk 3, Double Mobs HP. Most monsters have double HP. Perk 4, More Skills. Gain 50% more skill XP. Derpy is... interesting. He's the only mayor with four perks. Double all minion output is great, especially for people working on long collections like Redstone. The auction house being closed basically turns everyone into a pseudo Iron Man. Double mob HP does seem a little bit annoying, but most people one-shot monsters anyway, so I don't know how much it would matter. And finally, 50% skill XP is great for those annoying grinds like foraging. I'll give him a 9 out of 10 for uniqueness. Mayor Jerry. Perk 1, Perk Perkpocalypse. Activate all perks of another mare for 18 skyblock days. This does not include special mares. Perk 2, Stat Pocalypse. Increases all stats by 10%. Perk 3, Jerry Pocalypse. Reveals hidden Jerry's from logging, farming, mining, and killing mobs. Jerry is arguably the best mare on the list. Basically, getting a max perk mare every 6 hours and a 10% increase to all stats is huge. The Jerry Pocalypse perk spawns a Jerry that you have to chase down and kill, giving you an RNG box to open as a reward. These boxes introduce some unique items into the game, like the Jerry Sheen Gun and Jerry Pets. 10 out of 10, Wood Jerry again. Mare Scorpius. Perk 1, Bribe. If Scorpius wins and you voted for him, Mare Scorpius will offer you between 50,000 coins and a million coins based on your playtime as a token of gratitude. Perk 2, Darker Auctions. Scorpius will intrude in the dark auctions, increasing the number of rounds to 7 and offering special items. Scorpius is a fairly basic special mare. He only has two perks, similar to Diaz, but unlike Diaz, his perks are actually useful. If you're poor, you may enjoy his bribe perk giving you a free million coins, or if you're rich, you might enjoy some new items showing up in the dark auction, such as the hedge money artifact and the Midas staff. I'll give old Scorpius 8 out of 10. And that's all there is to mares in Skyblock. If you've enjoyed the video or found it helpful, and you'd like to see the channel grow, please like and subscribe for guides, videos, and live streams of everything Skyblock.